We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we record today, the Turrbal and Yuggera people. We pay our respects to Elders past and present. Aboriginal land always was, always will be. Sovereignty was never ceded. Hello, my name is Gina. Hello, my name is Amy. And we are As As Good As As It Gets. Hello, sex kittens. Um, (laughs) Stop it. Welcome back to another episode of As Good As It Gets. You sound like uh, (laughs) my daddy. (laughs) And not my father. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, Gina, too many times mention of your daddy <laughs> comes into play in uh, our recordings. <laughs> I just want everyone to know I'm never serious. I want everyone when to know I am. <laughs> I want everyone to know that she is. Um, hello, my name is Amy, oh. Lord and Saviour. <laughs> Of current times and Mm. sitting across from me (laughs) is is the devil on her shoulder. (laughs) But she's sexy. (laughs) And she recently celebrated a birthday, which means that she's another year sexier and hotter than ever. What do they say? Getting hotter with age. Getting... Yeah. Getting more... Riper? Riper? Yes, that sounds... (laughs) Getting riper riper with with age. Aging like a fine wine. Yeah. With a side of cheese. (laughs) Good cheese. The cheese has been left out in the sun a little bit, but but she's still still good. good. (laughs) (laughs) Still edible. Oh, Gina. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm Gina. Hi. Hello. I know. Um, What's happening (laughs) in your life? In my life, Amy? Yeah. Stop asking. Okay. (laughs) I've told you. Anyway, moving on. (laughs) Um, So, Amy, Mm. I've told you I've been feeling a bit nauseous and headachey. I'm pregnant. (laughs) And, like, I had no idea why. Um, (laughs) I thought you were saying I had no idea I was pregnant. (laughs) Congratulations. No, I found out you have to have sex to be pregnant. Whoa. Interesting. Mary lied. (laughs) Mary lied. (laughs) No, so a couple of moons ago, I was having, like, a lung issue where I was just coughing a lot. Mm. And I thought it was because I smoked a cigarette, like, about five months ago. And my body was punishing me for that. Yes. Anyway, it got to the point where I was like really bad and I couldn't sleep at night. Anyway, la la la. I go to a doc. Um, it's a new doc that I haven't been to before and it's bulk build, which is chill. And right. I'm also like, he doesn't need to know much. I'm just going there and being like, I might have adult asthma. Please help me with mm. that. Anyway, I go to him and he's like, oh, hey, your lungs are healthy. Mm. Um, so it's probably not adult asthma. And I said, well, what is it, sir? Mm. And he goes, I'm not too sure, but let me put you on these antibiotics um, that will help you with the thing. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's chill, bro. Um, hey, I'm on Accutane right now because of my acne. Mm. Um, can I take this uh, antibiotic with Accutane? And he goes, yeah, I think so. Let me just check for you. Anyway, I did a little tippy tap, tap, tap. All good. No worries. Here you go. Take the pill Great. Um, for a week. Okay. I also remember my dermatologist being like, hey, there's this one antibiotic that really doesn't mesh well with Accutane. Please don't take it. And I was like, yeah, no worries. But also I've been on so many different types of meds in the last two years Mm. and over like the past four years of my life. So it's really like I go to a doc and they're like, have you ever tried sertraline or Accutane or this, that? And I'm like, like probably, I I really don't know. Um, Anyway. After I did that set of antibiotics, I started feeling really off. Mm. Um, And a friend of mine got COVID. So I was like, Mm. oh, fuck, it's probably COVID. Mm. And I've tested multiple times. Yep. And it hasn't been COVID, not that I know of, um, because my symptoms are only nausea and headaches Mm. and it's clockwork every day I wake up. It doesn't get better and it doesn't get worse. Mm. And it doesn't matter if I take cold and flu ibuprofen it doesn't go away yeah right so it's just really like there and annoying Mm. not enough that I'm in bed really sick but enough that I'm like fuck I feel like shit every day 
Anyway, so it's gone on for now nearly two weeks coming up. And the Mm. other night I was like, what is going on? Like, oh, yeah. And I was thinking maybe I'm pregnant. Mm. But I literally came off a period. Like it was a five to six day period and everything was fine. Yeah. And I was like, well, unless it's a Jesus baby. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. So I was thinking, okay, let me just Google. Can you take doxycycline Mm. and Accutane together? Mm Mm-hmm. Would you believe it, Amy? No, you fucking can't. Okay, good. Um, why? This is from the Google. Not recommended. Combining these medications may increase the risk of a rare but potentially serious condition called pseudotumor cerebri. I'm, um, you know, mm-hmm. butchering that. Mm. Caused by increased pressure in the brain. In some cases, this can lead to permanent vision loss. Talk to your doctor if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, Your doctor may do this, that and the other. If you develop early signs and symptoms of this condition, such as headache, nausea, vomiting and visual disturbances during treatment with either medication, go see a doctor immediately. Oh, my God. Yeah. Those are my exact symptoms. Did you call the doctor's surgery to be like, hi? What the fuck? Because you literally asked. No, I... You I, should. I learned this like a day or two ago. Yeah, okay. At, and I found it out at like 11 p.m. at night. And it's been your birthday weekend, so tomorrow... And I've been so busy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm so pissed because it was a white male doctor and I told him I am taking Accutane. Can I take doxycycline with this? And he said, I will check and did a tappy tip tap tap and said, yeah, that's fine. And why am I meant to fucking not trust a doctor. a doctor and like I knew there was a type of medication that I shouldn't be taking but I couldn't remember it and he said he checked so I believed him and now like I I mean I already wear glasses and shit so I I don't know if my vision mm-hmm. has gotten worse yeah but early signs of fucking nausea and headache that's so that's so irresponsible yes and, and I'm so, so frustrating. Yeah. Because it's like you specifically asked. So this doctor has clearly, if they've checked something, they've checked the wrong things or he's just tippy tappy, like done the old retail, I'll check out the back and doesn't <laughs> check out the back. I really don't know what the fuck he did because all I did was Accutane and Doxycycline into Google and the first thing that came up was, no, don't fucking do it. So that was just me you, Googling. You need to literally ring the, like, clinic tomorrow mm. i would be literally asking for a refund on either the the um session of the antibiotics of something yeah and being like i need to see a new doctor or a different doctor well i haven't gone back to him because no. like i don't like male doctors no. for women things because you Absolutely know if you're not. a woman you understand jesus um which is it's so sad because this place near me is bulk billing and there's another doctor that i've now seen twice who i actually really like she's like really kind and Mm. when I've asked questions she's been very informative and nice but this guy like I just can't believe that that's yeah and like what I'm obviously going to go back to the doctor and be like hey so now this is happening and it won't go away what are we going to do about it brothers um you know but I'm so pissed and I don't know like what the fuck anyway that's so frustrating how fucked up but it's like it's not even just like you know, it's not just frustrating. It's not just infuriating. It's so unsafe. And it's dangerous. And I'm like, okay, if it's not going away through ibuprofen and stuff, what will make it go away? Yeah. And because now I'm on Accutane, I'm like, well, fuck, you're going to put me on another antibiotic? I was say, Is anyone going to Google that? That's like, exactly what I'm thinking. Like they'll put you on a different <sighs> antibiotic, one that you can take to counteract it, is what I assume will probably happen. Yeah, great. I'll Jesus. just, but now I'm like, do I have to, I don't trust doctors. Like, what do I do? Don't Fuck my life. Well, I think the lesson here, Gina, is that you were wrong anyway to trust a white man. Yeah. So it's and, your fault. And I've always said that. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust men, particularly if they're white. Yes. And quite doctors. Right. Trash. <laughs> Never like doctors. We all know that the medical field a hoax. Hoax. <laughs> and by <A> ibuprofen, <laughs> and by ibuprofen, I actually meant a ginger tea. 
<laughs> I've been taking tea. I actually meant manifesting I would get better. <laughs> I've been praying to Apollo with <laughs> wine and a candle. 13. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of ones lately, so. <laughs> Gina, I'm really sorry that's happening. That's I know. How just fucked. ridiculous. And I haven't had time to deal with it because life is so busy and stressful. Mm, yeah, here. Here we go. Anyway, I'm so pissed. <gasps> Loving life. Live, laugh, love. Tell me, Amy. Mm. What's going on with you, though? <laughs> um, well, in a complete 180, I have some positive news that I can share with do you, ya? Gina. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah, I do. What do you mean? <laughs> so, uh, Gina and slash listeners uh, mm. back home, you might remember a while back I was telling you that I had an interview for Fate, mm. the label, yeah. and all that jazz. Mm-hmm. And I applied for their manager position via mm-hmm. a TikTok. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Mm. Get them keen. Um, ended up having a second interview with them, met like the general manager and... A couple of weeks ago. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, quite mm. a while ago. Um, and since then they've been doing like a bit more on the socials. They've announced that, you know, the store is opening in July and they've revealed the location of it in Chermside. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, there's a two-party here, Gina. Oh. Um, I will not be managing the store. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But. Oh, my God, you're going to be their marketing manager. <laughs> um, I will be a stylist and content creator. Okay, there you go. Okay, yeah. what is a stylist? <laughs> so just like retail girly. Right, yeah. Um, And then doing all the content for this. Because as you know, they're big on social media. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So being the content girly. Doing, That's pretty great. Do yeah. you feel good about that? Yeah, I do feel good about it. And I... I was going through like a lot of <laughs> different thought processes because initially the role like manager is full time. And I was like, mm. yep, great. I can completely change, blah, blah, blah. And then in this role, they were like, oh, we were thinking either part time or casual, depending on bo- like your circumstance. And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Eh. Mm. Um, and then I actually ended up having an interview for somewhere else that was part time three days a week. Oh. And initially I was like, well, I reckon that'll really work. Mm. Full context, I still haven't heard from them, so I don't oh. know where which way that's going. But yeah. I kind of settled on, I feel like fate would be best for me casual because I can work whatever hours they need but be getting the best immediate rate. Mm. So I'm making yeah. the most money I can Yeah, <laughs> straight up, which is for right now what I need. I yeah. just need money in pocket. So are you going to be doing two jobs then? I think I'm going to go back to the two-job life. Yeah. yeah, fuck, that's hard. Yeah, I guess, but... She it's, says because she's gonna do that. Like fuck my life. It's all. It's like. Oh, well, you know what it's like. It's. I do. It's just how it is has at the been, moment. You know, for a lot of our life, though, yeah. as well as performers, mm. it's just how it kind of is. And I actually, I like having variety in what I yeah, do. And I, I think understand. as well with my marketing background as well and that kind of thing, I'm going to try and find things that you know are either work from home or little contracts and that kind of thing. Mm. Um, so it would be great to have fate as the thing that's paying my rent yeah, and then covering some of my bills and where else I make money is then also bills slash eating out and maybe Actually having fun. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I'm, I'm really like, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited about it. Mm. Um, Do you get a discount? <laughs> yes. How much? 50? I think so. It's not uh, – this is all just what I've heard. Yes. Conversations, nothing yeah. in writing. No, yes. But I think so. 50% would be so hot. I can't wait to have Also, there's some clothes. of the stuff that I've seen you wear, like that mini skirt. Oh, my God, that black one. Thank Delicious. You. And there was this um, uh, shirt that you didn't buy. Oh, Gina, don't get me started. I'm so depressed about it. Um, Is it still in stock? Can you still get it? No. Oh, Amy. I think it's in stock in their Sydney stores. So fingers crossed oh, we get it in yeah. stock in the store because yeah. I will buy that. Yeah, it looks so good on you. I know the listeners are, have no idea what we're talking about, but it looked <laughs> fucking hot and I can't believe you didn't buy it. Anyway. I hate myself. And you should. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, that's the update, Gina. Oh. And um, I handed in my resignation at my job. <laughs> Oh, wait, so you're not going to be doing two jobs? Not that job. Oh, Not the current wow. part-time job. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, because that's four days a week part time. That's just not going to work. In yeah. Terms well, of I was going to say it's management. a lot to take on if you were going to do two. Yeah. So you've put your uh, resignation in for your like basically full time part time a job. Yes. You're going to be doing fate. And then yeah. getting another job on top or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. And I know that <laughs> sounds a bit just like, whoa, what are they? but there are, it's, it's hard to talk about because I don't really want to say where I currently work. Yeah. There is potential that I might become a contractor there. So yeah. I would still have work with them, just not technically an employee. I I'd see. be like invoicing them. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. that for me, I think sounds like the best setup in that might be contracted by them, mm. working casually. Having more free time. Yeah, 100%. It's yeah. also hard for creatives mm. doing a nine to five because, I mean, there's so much of it that is after, like, uh, at the night time for rehearsals or mm. auditions and stuff. But at the same time, there's so many, like, because as creatives, we're all working hospital, retail, contract, our hours are so weird. It'll be like, oh, is everyone free for a Monday day? And you're like, nah, brother, no. I'm a nine to fiver now. Yeah. You know, I understand. Literally how it's been with the show I'm doing. Mm, it's yeah. like, you know, can, can we do like a tech during the week? And literally the tech week um, wasn't able to take any time, time off. off because my counterpart at work has annual leave that whole week. So yeah. I have to be there. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm, God. But yeah, so... I think it's going to be cool. Oh, that's really exciting. I'm really happy for you. That's change is coming. Change, change coming. be coming around change the bend. Change is coming. Ah, but Gina, uh, something else I'd like to put to you. I mean, I've had enough. All right. Well, of you speaking to me like <laughs> you don't love me. So go on. Well, I just don't know any other way. Oh, Amy. <laughs> Stop it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, go on. I'm, I'm all ears. Well, you may remember at least a little, two ears. I'm, a, I'm, I'm at least two ears. <laughs> I don't know if I'm all ears, but <laughs> I... <laughs> no? Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> a little while back, we introduced some sexy wrecks. Oh, I fucking love a sexy wreck. Sexy recommendations, if you may. Yes. Ted Lasso. Ah, uh, yes. I've actually never watched it. That's a recommendation for myself. Watch it, Gina. Okay. Yeah, same. Are we surprised that I haven't watched it? No. no. Will you watch it? No. no. But Gina. Yeah, what do you got? Tell you what I have watched. Yeah. And what you shouldn't. This is a sexy Rex to not watch. What is it? Fuba on Netflix. What the fuck is Fuba? Glad you asked. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's new oh, what the TV fuck? series. That's what you watched? Yep. Amy. I watched the first two episodes. You won't watch Stranger Things, but you'll watch Fuba. Yeah, because it wasn't <laughs> like Terminator. It looked to be... Well, yeah, what is the context? So the concept of this show is old mate Arnie plays a... Arnie. He's a CIA agent. Oh, that's so unlike all the other roles he's played. It's very confronting. It's very <laughs> unusual. Um, <laughs> and he is about to retire from okay. said CIA. Bless. He's basically like doing his last mission mm. and then finds out that his daughter is mm. also an agent. And oh. obviously neither of them knew that the other oh. worked in the force. Um, and then he gets pulled out of retirement and they get assigned this case because of reasons. Um, and that it's basically them working this case together. Father, daughter. Father, yeah. daughter. But then it's like conflict. Oh, my God, you lied to me. You, you're meant to be like this. She's meant to be like some charity work. And she's like, you lied to me for 40 years. Ah. Anyway, Gina. Yeah. It is the worst writing. <laughs> oh, I no. have. I cannot remember the last time I watch something so terribly written that's amazing it is so bad and oh, not wow. great acting i think the mm. the girl who plays the daughter i think she's probably a good actor and she makes the most of the yeah she's text. trying her best with the shitty text arnie's not good of course he's not <laughs> but like a lot of them in it are not good <sighs> and it just that's <sighs> yeah that's what shits me. You see Netflix or like, oh, it's an Amazon Prime original and you see these movies which have probably like millions of dollars in there mm. and you've got actors who have as much chemistry as a milk bottle. Like, yeah. And it's it's exhausting as people, creatives out here, busting our asses, trying to get our feet in the door and it's like some beautiful blonde, <laughs> tanned, six-packed person out here 
yeah. I like it's exhausting. So yeah. I hate bad writing. One hate it. How mm. did that get fucking the go ahead? That's that's exactly what I think. It's like they did the first draft and then ran with it. Oh, I hate that. It's like a grade ten film and TV project. I hate it, Gina. Yeah, it is so bad. I almost want you to watch just like half an hour, just so you know how bad it is. Well, like now that you've said that, I'm like that is sensational. I want to <laughs> watch like a horrible episode and be like, oh wow, this is awful. They have this terrible thing where, <laughs> and it it's continued for like all episodes so arnie and his like you know Daughter. right hand man or whatever oh, yeah. have this thing where to confirm something yeah arnie might say something like pickle in the jar and the other guy will say corn on the cob like <laughs> that's no. how, but it changes no. like the sayings change all the time and every time oh, it they're happens, trying to make it like quirky and cool that's exactly what they're trying to do it's like this is a quirky cool thing that our series does terrible awful not funny no weird <laughs> jarring every time no. i hear it i'm like what are what you, do you on mean? about and it's the first episode is so expositional because they're obviously like you know we want to set up this blah 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 there's literally something that talks about the daughter um and it's talking about like what a perfect kid she was or whatever and arnie goes on some weird tangent about like you s- used to play violin and you were so good like it's not relevant yeah and right. then something happens with her shoulder later on and the callback he like punches someone or something who hurt her shoulder and he's like that's her violin arm and it's like is that meant to be funny i don't know if it's meant to be funny or endearing but it is it just screams amateur like it is so and cringe it's so cringe worthy it's really uncomfortable and just like even even some of the acting too it, I mean, it's the direction, right? Yeah. It comes down to some of the acting choices, like the characters that are brought forward. What I'm really hating too mm. is that there's been this f- smart female character introduced who Bless. seems very sweet, hasn't had a lot of dialogue, but for whatever reason, they've made like the comedic overweight woman, ha ha ha, hate this woman for no apparent reason. Yeah. Oh. Literally. She like... Malik tell me that a it. show like, is ha, ha, written ha. by a straight white man without telling me a show is written by a straight white man. Gina, it is so bad. It's not 2003 anymore. Fuba is number one on Netflix in America no. right now. And, and that's that just a, tells you how shitty America is. Well, that's another thing. I was like, is this American humor? Because <laughs> I was like, it's We're not, not funny. getting it. Well, it's kind of like... Oh, but like UK TV shows how they're amazing and then Mm. how Americans try to reproduce that Mm. and they're like, isn't this great? And you're like, no, because it's actually not funny and you've taken the essence of what made the show funny and you've put it in a bin and set that bin Mm. on fire. There was also a scene where I can't even really remember what happens. I don't know if it's someone's jumping a large distance or something like that, Mm. but the special effect (laughs) is literally like – the body becomes like a torpedo in the in the no. sky. It is like it's like so Photoshop. fake. Yes, it's so bad. And no. I was like, "Is this? Come on!" I was yeah. like, "You're having me on." Not like, this not is, number one on Netflix. Not number one on Netflix. Obviously, multi million dollar production yeah. with Arnie. Like, with come Arnie, on, you're yeah. joking. Unless they've done like forty million on the budget for Arnie, and then then we're like, we have two grand left over. I think that's what happened. <laughs> I think they spent forty million on hiring Arnie and. Then marketing it as with Arnie. But why Arnie? Gina, it's so bad. Oh. It is so bad. And so I, I recommend will watch you the watch the first ep. Yeah, watch just the to first fucking ep hate it. And then hate it with me. Love that. And then tell everyone in your life how bad it is. I great. Okay. That sounds amazing. Okay. <laughs> God, that's awful. And also, Amy, why did you watch it to start? Because <laughs> of Arnie? No. Why? What? I think it was just in that recommended thing oh, like and here's like, something you might yeah and i was give like give it a go okay and here's where they get you the little trailer bit actually is, is, good. is funny it's good oh wow that's a good trailer person a good that's editor. a that's a good editor yeah. yeah give them a raise yeah everyone else fired <laughs> you're in the bin yeah oh, i'm good so editor. worried and disgusted and excited to watch it <laughs> <laughs> they're the right emotions that's how people feel when they meet me that's what, yeah, that's how I felt. Worried, disgusted, <laughs> turned on, excited. Uh, Ooh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amy, it's been a pleasure. Mm. Um, but tell me, I know we haven't heard enough from you today. <laughs> I don't think I've spoken at all this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what got 
got you good this week, Dal. Jen, I'm going to tell you. <gasps> what is it? Did you forget? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gina, I'm going to tell you what it is. Okay. Um, so it's something that I haven't bought yet, but I have committed to buying. Oh. I okay. Side note: I've been really good with my money lately good. in not buying like dumb shit. Yes, mm. <laughs> one because I can't really afford to. Yes, but two because I'm just like I just I got to stop doing that. Yeah, I understand. And I've actually been really good in not good doing it. Yeah, yeah. But something I've decided that I really want mm. the one I want I think is thirty five dollars. Mm. I'm gonna buy a milk frother. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. and I'm gonna make the frothiest hot chockies. I've ever seen. I mean, you don't drink coffee. No. So now that I'm like, that's an investment, but for hot chocolates, maybe. But it's not a bad appliance to have in general. Yeah, because other it's people good. can use it when they yeah. come over. Other they can people. Bring the, they can bring their own coffee. Who do you have over, Amy? Um, well, sometimes the real estate agent comes around, Ooh, they gives come you some Tim Tams. But they come over unannounced, Gina. <laughs> it's not the same. My sister visits every now and then. That's nice. Also doesn't drink coffee. Um, That's a lie. She has lattes. Anyway. Are you going to invite me over so I can use your milk frother? No. Get a bit frothy. <laughs> Have a couple of frothies. I don't like that you said that to me without <laughs> blinking. <laughs> Frothy. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, so I'm going to make – but I love a hot chockey. Yeah, And you this do. has rung That's true because true. at work there's a there's a milk frother. <gasps> oh. Yes. That's and, bouge. And hot chockey. Oh. And so whenever I'm in office, I make myself a hot chockey. That's amazing. And as we know, I'm not going to be in office much longer. Oh, that's fair. So I still want Steal hot – I it. want – Oh, smart. You can buy your own, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my as good as it gets is that I've decided to get a milk frother. Great. Pending. <laughs> uh, what's, <laughs> what got you good this week, uh, Jaina? Jaina? Yeah, that's my name. Um, What did get me good? I'm so glad you asked. Why am I so boring? Mine is this week. It was my birthday recently. I don't think we've talked enough about it. Um, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> and my roommate uh-huh. got me sunflowers beautiful in a vase with baby's breath like it was all this whole thing and i love flowers yeah i fucking love flowers i think your roommate copied me oh do you want to come home and bash her i almost got you sunflowers <gasps> instead of the roses that no I, got I like these roses this is a rose i think it could be a sunflower vase too but also sunflowers have very long stems yes this vase is not made for long stems no i think this is a nice decision by amy duro yes Mm -hmm. Um, sorry i interrupted sunflowers (laughs) and i got cake so i can eat my cake my coffee by the sunflowers and roses yeah beautiful it's like i'm almost happy oh (laughs) so close (laughs) and yet 27 club (laughs) Um, Gina, I'm going to go. Yeah, that's right. so fair. I didn't want to ask you to leave, but yeah. thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, I'm hungry. Um, Oh, are you? For, d- <laughs> for what? I wanted to say for Duke, <laughs> but I'm not going to get that. Oh. I'm going to go and get, I don't know what I want. Maybe a hot dog. I love hot dogs. Me too. Yummy. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> I love a hot dog. Wieners. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> Genus weenus, that's me. Genus <laughs> Your weenus? Oh, no. Did mm-hmm. you hit your funny bone? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, subscribe, okay. comment, follow, and remember, Amy and me, we are... As, as good, good as it gets. gets.